Power. And. Beauty. Martina Navratilova, whose illustrious career spanned four decades, is regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time and spent 332 weeks at the top of the world rankings. Martina started competing in tournaments at the age of 15, taking first place at the 1972 Czechoslovakia National Tennis Championships. She had been playing tennis since she was a young child, since turning professional in tennis in 1975, Martina has never failed to win over admirers and build a solid reputation in the sport. Martina has had the good fortune to compete in many prestigious tournaments throughout her career and come out on top. She finished her career with 18 single match victories, 31 double match victories, 10 mixed doubles victories, and 18 grand slam victories. She has participated in competitions including the Australian Open, French Open, Wimbledon, and US Open, and in each of those competitions, she was praised for her superb athleticism. Martina retired from competitive play in 2006, and she has since joined Agnieszka Radwaska's coaching staff to work as a coach in the sport. She has also worked for Amazon Prime Video, acted as a commentator for the BBC and the Tennis Channel, and starred in the Netflix series The Politician. She has also made appearances in movies and on television. Martina has racked up a plethora of accolades and professional recognition throughout the course of her career. In 2003, she won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year Lifetime Achievement Award and earned the No. 1 tennis player in the world ranking. The renowned Philippe Chatrier Award was given to her in 2009. In 1978, 1979, 1983, 1984, 1985, and 1986, she received awards for WTA Player of the Year and ITF World Champion. Additionally, Martina has been featured on a number of lists by illustrious media outlets and broadcasters. She was recognized in several publications, including the Tennis Channel's 100 Greatest Tennis Players of All Time, Times 30 Legends of Women's Tennis, Past, Present, and Future, the BBC's 100 Women 2013 list, and 30 Legends of Women's Tennis, Past, Present, and Future. Martina uses her notoriety outside of tennis to emphasize the significance of a number of current topics. Martina, who is openly gay, has spoken before at the March on Washington for lesbian, gay, and bi-equal rights and liberation. She is a fierce supporter of LGBT rights. The leading LGBT advocacy group, Human Rights Campaign, recognized her commitment to fighting for the rights of these people by giving her the National Equality Award. Additionally, she promotes the value of both human and animal rights, taking a special interest in the well-being of disadvantaged children. Martina can be seen continuously crisscrossing the planet to raise awareness of important issues that today's world faces. Martina is now a highly sought-after public speaker and is considered as a powerful motivator. Martina is a dynamic and captivating speaker who never fails to captivate audiences with tales of her brilliant sporting career, triumph over adversity, and LGBT rights. Previous clients have included organizations like HSBC, the Singapore Tourist Board, the Financial Times, Goldman Sachs, and Barclays, to name a few. Martina Navratilova is the ideal speaker to encourage a diverse and inclusive workforce because she is a fervent supporter of LGBT rights and gender equality. That is all for today. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up.
subscribe to our YouTube channel and slay that notification bell so you won't miss any of our gorgeous uploads. Thanks for watching. See you on our next video. Sayonara.